Hi guys, Nick Jones here. Warm up activation, absolutely crucial to get you ready for your workout, but to also improve flexibility and strengthen up stabilizing muscles around your joints. Warm up number one is going to focus on the core, the abs, the obliques, the lower back, and the glutes as well. Warm up number two, two we're gonna focus on your upper body being your pecs, um, your lats, delts, rotator cuff. Warm up number three, we're working on the hips to warm up all of the muscles around the hip joint and the hip girdle. And warm up number four, we're gonna warm up the lower body, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, and all of the joints and stabilizing muscles around there. You can group all of these warm ups together to warm up the whole body for a big workout, or you can do them in sections to warm up that area. Let's get ready to train. Guys, warm up number one, we're going to focus on the core. Exercise number one, trunk twists. Feet flat on the floor, knees a little bit closer than 90 degrees, arms, upper arms perpendicular to the midline of the body, palms facing up. This way we're going to activate the external rotators around the rotator cuff. So gently roll your knees over to the side, touch the floor. So you're stretching the lower back here, you're stretching the glute. Now pull the navel towards the spine to activate your whole abdominal region to bring your knees over to the other side. So nice and gentle, we do 15 repetitions here on each side. Once we complete our 15 reps, then we go a little more dynamic. So lifting your knees up, so we're at 90 degree angle at the hip joint, 90 degree angle at the knee joint. Same movement as the first trunk twist, a little bit more dynamic here, folks. Warm up number two, we're focusing on the upper body. Palms facing up, the ball's nice and close to the body, sitting your butt back on your heels. Chest up, chin up, over accentuate the posture here, folks. Rolling the ball away, we're going to stretch the lats. At full extension, we push the back of our hands down, hard into the ball, and row the ball back towards the body until we are vertical, we are upright. So come all the way back, chest up, chin up, contract the lats. Again, we roll the ball forward, getting a full stretch in the lat, and then we activate the lat as well. To make the exercise a little more dynamic, we can also do it one hand. So 15 repetitions, two hand, followed by another 10 repetitions, each hand alternately. Part two of this warm up, we're going to stretch the pecs. Ball out to the side, 90 degrees at the shoulder, 90 degrees at the elbow. Hand open the palm in the middle of the ball. Lower your upper body to stretch the pec, but we are also stretching the internal rotators of the rotator cuff. Keeping the ball in the same area, using the opposite hand, we stretch the rear delt and the mid trap. Rolling the ball over to the other side, we're going to stretch the left side, the left pec. Again, leaving the ball there, we're going to now stretch the rear delt for the right hand side. This is a great warm up for the whole of the upper body, the lats, the pecs, the shoulders, and more importantly, the rotator cuff. Warm up number three, folks. We're focusing on the whole of the hip region, the lower back, glutes, and hamstrings as well. Exercise number one in this warm up quadrant circles. Hands and knees, folks, pull the navel towards the spine to activate the lower ab. We're going to draw very, very small circles on the floor with our knee. Very, very simple here. Small circles, so we're activating all of those little stabilizing muscles around the hip joint. We're going 10 clockwise, 10 anti-clockwise on the right knee. Moving over to the left knee. Again, 10 clockwise quadrant circles and 10 anti-clockwise. Warming up those great stabilizing muscles, getting blood into the area. Exercise number two in this warm up, we can call it the rocking horse. Again, on your hands and knees, pull the navel towards the spine. Try and keep a slight arch in the lower back. Do not round the lower back. So slowly and gently sitting back on your heels, butt to the heels, and we're stretching the hip. Try not to round the lower back here. Just stretch the glutes by flexion at the hip. So nice and gently, we're stretching the glutes, we're activating, stretching and activating. Exercise number three here in this warm up, the scorpion. This is a great warm up, you see many athletes doing this. So face down, we spread eagle on the floor, arms out perpendicular, palms facing down. Quite simply, get your right toe and try to touch your left hand. That's the simplicity of it. So we're activating the glute, we're activating the lower back 
We're activating the hamstring as well in a sling type of fashion, sling type of motion. This is great if we're gonna do athletics, any sort of athletic endeavor, but also if we're going to be doing lunges and a lot of single leg work, this is great for starting to activate the whole of the posterior chain. We're also stretching your hip flexor group of muscles at the front. So again, we're stretching and activating, stretching and activating. When you're activating one group of muscles, you're stretching the opposing group of muscles. So we wanna do 12 repetitions on the right, 12 repetitions on the left. Warm up number four, we're focusing here on the lower body. Hand walk, we're stretching the hamstrings, very obvious. Keep the knees soft, so we're loading the hamstrings a little bit. Hands go as close to the floor as you possibly can. Now, walking the hands out in front of you as far as you can. Ladies or beginners, go to a full push-up length. The guys that are a little bit more advanced and the ladies that are a bit more advanced, walk your hands out as far as you possibly can and pull your navel towards your spine. You're really starting to work and activate the abdominal area, the whole of the core here, in a more dynamic type of fashion. Pushing your heels towards the ground, we walk our toes in as far as we can. We're stretching the calves, we're stretching the hamstrings as well. We're also, again, we're working all of the stabilizing muscles around the hip joint. Once you get to that top movement, walk the hands out again to full extension, and again, walking the toes in as high as you possibly can, so we're getting a great stretch in the calves along with the hamstrings. We shoot for about half a dozen here on the hand walk. An option for the hand walk is to do it backwards as well, and you start to activate the shoulder girdle a little bit more. Our next and final warm up here is the lunge activation warm up. Remember here, folks, we're stretching and activating. Here we sink our back knee towards the ground and we place our back knee on the ground, lift that hand up. We're stretching the hip flexor group of muscles here. So we stretch. Then we take the tension and activate, lifting our back knee about one inch off the ground. We hold that tension there. Opposing elbow towards the ground, we're stretching the glute. Once we've stretched the glute, we straighten that front knee back up in line. Come back so we are stretching the front hamstring, we're stretching the back calf here. This is a fantastic stretch. To make it more dynamic, we do this in three positions. Position one, position two, position three. From this point here, we drop the back knee towards the ground and we're going to activate all of those muscles we just stretched by doing a dynamic lunge to the front on the opposing leg. And we're going to repeat the movement exactly the same for the opposing side. We're not static stretching here, folks. We're stretching, we're activating, we're strengthening all of the stabilizing muscles. So the lunge is a great exercise. It's our final exercise in this warm up number four. The legs are ready to go, the core's ready to go, the hips are ready to go. Folks, we're ready to train. This is the best warm up you can do. Give this warm up a go to get ready for every workout. And for those of you that want to get more flexible for any sport, for any athletic endeavor, for your martial arts, and those of you that don't like static stretching and find it boring, I urge you to try the warm up activation. Do this before your warm up, before your workout. It'll, let, it'll take you five minutes. 10 minutes tops if you want to do it two to three times through. And I guarantee within three weeks, you'll probably have better flexibility than you've had for many, many years. Five to 10 minutes at the start of your workout, prevent injuries, get your body ready, improve your flexibility and your functional strength in your stabilizing muscles. Thanks for watching guys. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos on training, some recipes and supplement information.